Hey, what's up, y'all? Well, it's time for a change. Not that I'm just ha unhappy, but it's just time for me to change the setup up. I've been rocking those, uh, those subs for a while now. It's time to change it up. So I decided to change it up with a sub that doesn't look like a carbon copy of all these other subs out here that everybody want me to try. try. And it happened to be from a brand that for a budget and for performance, but they right there, I mean, you think Turo Tech copied the American base model because all American base subs give you the same performance as a lot of these other companies at a far cheaper price. I mean, everybody know about American base SFL, uh, the American base HD series. Bob Ahua, how it's all, brother. I don't know why you took the name Bob. You know you damn Pakistani and Saudi and whatever. But American Base makes great products. So with that being said, I said, I'm going to try a new eight. My application. Let's see what I'm going to try. And I came across, remember, if you watch my channel, you know I had the American Base uh, HD844 before he came out with this HD8. He still makes the HD844 and he makes this HD8 as well. This is the HD8. Alright. Uh, I don't know if he if it's I don't think he discounted the others. Did this supersede it or not? But this is the new one. So if you hand me a raise a knife, please. I mean, yeah, how you get up here to unbox and got a and got a knife? I don't know. I wasn't thinking about it. I wasn't really thinking about how I'm gonna get this box. I need a razor, yeah, razor blade do it. Thank you, hon. So let's go ahead and unbox this boy. I didn't think I was gonna do it at first. Honestly, y'all gonna see it the same time I see it. I saw it on the online. Now I'm fitting to actually bring it out. All right, so I actually bring it out here. Ah, uh, so it's double box, which is great. Come with the sticker. Y'all already know how I feel about the sticker. Came with TS parameters, which were very hard to find on the site so we need to look at these these parameters this parameter says that it has a fs of 49.8 and a qts of 0.37 whoa qts of 0.37 but the qes is in the oh the qes is 0.49 that's the measurement of all the electrical signals so with that being 0.419 and the fs of 49.8 Whoa, this is really good. Baby, you got your 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 your, your phone. Divide 49.8. Divide 49.8. It's gonna be over a hundred. I know it is. Divide 49.8. Okay. Thank you, baby. 49.8 divided by the QES, which is 0.419. Anything between 50 and 100 is geared toward ported application. The Sundown, it is the Sundown X8 EBP. When you divide the FS by the QES, it's 91. Definitely it's geared toward a ported box or even a six order. These have an EBP of 118 so that means ported six order great in the horn enclosure even far surpassing the kicker <laughs> oh man this is this is interesting ebp of 118 seriously geared toward a ported enclosure i mean like seriously Now, I'm a big dude now. I'm going to tell y'all something. I want y'all to understand something. I'm a big dude. I'm 228 pounds, 6'3". People that pick up my box will tell you I'm a big dude. When you see my mouth is flexing to pick something up, it's got some some heft to it. This joker has got some heft to it. Some serious heft. Come on, get off. The... Get out of the way. Woo! Come in plastic. Get me out. Oh man. Ooh, ooh. 
Yeah. It has arguably the same girth as a, as a Sundown XAV3. Oh, yeah, it's. Oh, yeah. Y'all see I'm flexing? I'm a big dude. I'm 228 pounds, 6'3. This thing got some weight to it. Nice. Ooh, that top plate. It's nice. That top plate looks to be at least 3 eighths of an inch. This. Oh, this. He doesn't have a magnetic boot. Looks like he put a. Some kind of plastic around the boot. Around the, the two slugs. The slugs looks to be. Greater than two in, greater than greater than two inches for sure. Maybe two and a quarter, about two and a half, one and a quarter inch slugs. Nice bottom plate. I wonder what great steel he used. Venting, venting around them on the bottom plate. We know it has a two and a half inch voice coil. Uh, I think it's copper clad. Let me see. Uh, there's high energy magnets, but he definitely doesn't tell you what kind of voice cord it has. I would, that would have been interesting to know. This, what made me settle on this one for my new eights to try is this basket is original. I'm not saying Bob made the basket up. I'm saying this basket is original on an eight. Uh, this is a different basket for sure. He don't. It's fun. Bob didn't give a lot of information. He gave you TS parameters on this sub. Can't find him hardly nowhere online. The cutout is 7.2. Mounting depth, uh, six and a half, six and a half inches. Typical SD. Speaker diaphragm is going to be 31 or 32 inches. So I'm losing cone area. I'm not comparing it to a sub with a large cone area. I'm comparing it to subwoofers that is in the it's in the lead to compare with, which is Sunout X8, uh, Hutchinson Eta 8, uh, all these aces out there, Scar ZV X8, all of them got these seven three eights round basket, nine and a quarter dimensions gonna have a SD of either 31 or 32. So I'm finna ooh, dual, dual Progressive Row Spiders, red. Nice thick tensile is going to the triple joint. A lot of glue to the triple joint. Nine press paper cone. The surround is not overly high, nor is it shallow. It's fat, which is eating up a lot of the cone area. It's fat surround, eating up a lot of the cone area. He says it only has an X max of 14 millimeters. I have known Bob to not give you all the true specs on his subs. Mm. It has a, now that's a mock imitation carbon fiber dust cap. Blue stitch surround to the cone. It's got some health to it. The spider's packs are glued together, but they are, I mean, they're spaced, but they actually, and they, oh, they're, they're old. Spiders are glued and bolted down. It's a solidly built sub. Luckily we got 10 inch voice uh, direct leads. I've noticed on YouTube that there's, there's no video of these eights playing nowhere. Well that's about to change. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna free air to just put it right. I'll probably I'll do a little free air test it and then I'll go ahead and put them in. I'm gonna do a free air test tomorrow. But this is it, y'all. The American Base HD844. You know, I have great experience with American Base subwoofers. So, well, that's a black voice coil, too, which made me believe it is aluminum. I wonder if it's copper, I don't know. He doesn't list if it's copper clad aluminum wire or flat wound aluminum. It looks to be flat round, but he doesn't say. He talk about the cooling, but he doesn't say. We'll see. Peace. Oh, let's y'all look at it. Yeah. It's attractive. He could have made the basket black. <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna see it anyway. Inside the box. 
The spider looks like the same spider that's on the no, uh, the ribs on the Toro take a little higher. Uh, but this is a red spider. It's very stiff. Very stiff. But that EBP of 118, let me know this thing is going, it's going to seal in the port of the enclosure. This is it. Give me that last shot. Peace.